still round. I'm here to tell you it's not. It's flat. <laughs> he has a he's an interesting guy, man, and uh, you know, he believes it so Kyrie, the earth is flat, right? Yeah. 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 So, whatever. Yeah, the earth is flat. That's news. That's news. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> This is Truth Frequency Radio. The wicked ones obviously under heavy, heavy Masonic influence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's just uh, pretend that uh, that never happened. Ready? Here we go. Broadcasting straight to you from a large spaceship, currently at war with the mainstream scientific community. Meanwhile, the peanut gallery is backing up as many YouTube videos as he can before they start their crackdown on Earth being flat or school shootings being staged. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Strange World, where the truth is often stranger than fiction. I'm your host, Mark Sargent, the creator of Flat Earth Clues, which propose that all of us are living inside a Truman Show enclosed structure thousands of miles wide. Check it out at enclosedworld.com or just Google Flat Earth Clues. If you can't find it, you're not very good at the internet, although judging by the intro music we had tonight, I may not be very good at the internet. I'm dying to know what my music is going to be at the first break so uh, i'm I'm hoping it will be my segue music but who knows maybe not uh, i have honest to god guys i have no idea for those of you listening to this on youtube you want to hear the show live as it happens please go to truth frequency radio for the latest schedule currently the show is on tuesday nights at seven pacific 10 eastern and if it is not april 17th 2018 then you are listening to a rerun so make sure you listen to it live. Quote of the day from the peanut gallery goes a little something like this. Wisdom is the reward you get for a lifetime of listening when you would have rather talked. That's from Mark Twain. Couple quick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm doing the comments on the music here. And somebody said your opening song sucked gorilla balls. Thank you. Thank you for that mystery person yeah I, I again it's not my song i have no idea i you know me i i always only pick cool music or at least you know kind of hip music maybe some retro music that song is just some generic royalty free song i have no idea where it came from the uh, quick announcements first off uh, there's going to be a meetup i know it's kind of short notice for people out there but there's going to be a meetup in seattle or rather north seattle all the way up in muckleteo which is uh, it's up by five away, uh, just just across from Everett. So if you know where Everett is, you'll know where Muckle Teo is. Down by the water, there's a little restaurant there called Ivers. Ivers Landing, I believe, and we have a room booked. And I am going to be there at this meetup, and so is D Marble, from what I understand. So for anyone in the Seattle area, you want to do a meetup, check it out. All you have to do is type in Flat Earth Meetup. Muckle to you or just go to my webpage. It's going to be this Sunday, April 22nd at 4.30 down at Ivers. All the details are there on the YouTube page. You'll see it. Flat Earth Meetup Muckle Teo. And it's M-U-K-I-L-T-E-O. So it should be fun. And there's a bar right across the street. So if the if the restaurant, because I don't think we can hang out there for four hours, if they if they want to kick us out, by all means, you know, there's a there's a bar literally within a, a short rock throw away. Okay, it's going to be a call-in show, and I know there's people already waiting, but I'm going to give out the phone number anyway. Phone numbers to call are 213-233-3998. That's 213-233-3998 or 720-897-6111. Or 
If you're in the UK, you can dial the country code 011 and then 44203393 And if you just want to call in and listen and you don't want me to pick you up, it is 641-793-7117. Uh, before we start picking up calls, I want to mention real quick the subject matter. Tonight, tonight's just going to be straight call-ins. We've, we've had a bunch of guests over the last month. And if we we're going to do this. This show is, I think, going to be called Month in Review for Flat Earth because a lot really has happened in the last month. You guys probably missed most of it. Subject matter experts we've had so far. United States Navy missile instructor, United States Air Force navigator, a Marine Corps sniper instructor, a Navy submarine chief, an Army artillery radar operator, an Australian intelligence officer, an American flight instructor, an industrial engineer specializing in valves and seals, a career surveyor of 32 years, an international shipping expert, a corporate travel agent, an air traffic controller, United States Army master gunner, an aviation and ground training combat expert, a USDA surveyor of 27 years, a 32nd degree mason, an etheric science researcher, a commercial airline captain a commercial airline co-pilot, an industrial vacuum expert, a merchant marine, a United States Army air traffic controller, United States Navy quartermaster, and United States Navy cryptological technician, which used to be called electronic warfare. So all those people. Take that, science. If you guys want to get in on the action, if you want to add to my list of testimonies, for the Flat Earth model, by all means, you can contact me at msergeant23 at comcast.net okay let's uh let's pick up a few phone calls shall we and see what's going on out there i think i've covered all the normal bases and the weirdness of the music I, again in about 12, 19 minutes we're going to figure out how, how the music is and hopefully nothing really really bad happened i know they made a slight change in the show because you guys remember my at the halfway point, we were we were getting some audio, uh, an audio switchover, which wasn't going too well. And he says, oh, yeah, well, I just changed it to high quality. But I don't think that was the only change that was made. Anyway, let's pick up somebody. Uh, this one's going to be Houston, Texas, 281 area code. 281, you are on the air with Strange World right now. How you doing, Mark Sargent? I'm doing well. <laughs> Oh, man, good to hear from you. Long time listener, man. Got into the Flat Earth Clues, fresh out of class. Um, almost my birthday, man, and it's just good to, you know, man, to get woken up. You woke me up last year, and like I said, I went in that rabbit hole, still in it. Right on, man. It. So, awesome. I mean, yeah. So, um, yeah, I had a few quick things I wanted to touch on real quick. I'm not going to be long. Uh, number one. I'm an Archer fan like you. I can recite every episode pretty much literally. And, uh, yeah, um, my favorite episode was the one where he got cancer and he had to go back and fight the Irish mob and everybody. Oh, oh yeah, goodness. where he was killing he, everybody he that was, was doing, selling ca- the was, counterfeit. Oh, my goodness, he was drugs. doing family feud. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, awesome. Survey says, but, yeah, oh, my goodness. <laughs> one thing I wanted to touch on real quick, um, my, my partner hit me, my friend hit me, um, I'm out of town, and he uh, informed me about, I told him about the Antarctic Treaty, and he was familiar with that, and um, and he said something recently came up in the news about China, so say, breaking that treaty, and then I looked it up on Google, and then I saw something back on November 30th, 2017, uh, saying uh, that China's supposedly going back down there. I wanted to know what you, if you heard anything about that, and I... what your thoughts on, and how would that play out since they're a power, superpower? Right, right. I have not heard anything about China breaking the treaty or protesting the treaty or anything along those lines. Although it wouldn't surprise me if we didn't, because you remember the treaty was passed on for years and years and years, and 99% of yeah. the general, general population didn't know anything about it. So we'll tell you what, everybody's listening, go hmm. check out to see if China's trying to break the treaty and what's happening with it. And uh, when I know, I'll let everybody else know. And, yeah, and I was curious of how you thought things might play out if they were, hypothetically, if they were to go down there and just say, screw the rest of you guys, we'll go down here to Antarctica and we're going to set up shop and what you're going to do about it because they got like two billion people. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I think they would do it pretty quietly. I mean, if they if they were trying to do a power struggle down Cause there. Because they, the, they have a space program. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Most people don't know that China supposedly has had a rover on the moon since 2013. 
and yet we don't. Oh, see that's any- a bunch of baloney. Yeah, I know, I know, right? And 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 it's not anywhere near our stuff again. Yeah, really, because you're not going to go next to the American flag and accidentally tip it over. That would be perfect. That's what I'd do. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. And one more thing before I get off this phone, man. It's almost my birthday in about three less than three hours. I'll be thirty nine. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah. What was I gonna touch bases on? Uh, oh yeah. Oh, I was wanted to give kudos and shout out to for Patricia Steer. I got both of your apps or whatever. And I was listening to one of your shows. It was like four or five shows ago. High yeah. Potato, the High Potato Show, and and you were saying so, y'all were predicting something. You were saying, as you were saying, yeah, something's gonna happen in Texas. I heard through the grapevine, and I'm like, wow. And the very next day, they had that one bomber slash shooter in. Texas and Austin that next day to where it blew my mind to where it's like, wow. Uh, I don't, are, I don't think, I don't think it was, our pre- it wasn't our prediction. I don't know. It probably was through the grapevine uh, because we were generally mm-hmm. Patricia, Patricia and I, we, I, I rarely will make time predictions. I mean, I've, I made some general predictions about flat earth, but is anything yes, specific sir. as far as locations? Nah, not, not me, but interesting. Oh, okay. But yeah, uh-huh. well, that's about it, man. It was good to hear from you. I'm going to shoot your email so I can get that survival guide. And, okay. Uh, just give a shout out to Northside Houston, Texas, Acres Home, and keep doing what you do, man. Black folks are starting to wake up, man. Right on. And hey, happy birthday to you. Oh, man, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. I'm going to enjoy it. I'll be at work today or tomorrow, but oh, well. All right. 39, I'm almost 40. Appreciate All it, man. Right. You have a good day, sir. I'll continue to listen. All right. You too. See you, man. All right. Uh-huh. Wait. Right. And that was a lovely first call. Let's see if we can continue it. Let's go to 419 area code. I don't know. That may be in Ohio. 419, you are on the air with Strange World right this second. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, Mark? It's Marty. Hey, Marty. Yeah. Hey, it is, it is Toledo, Ohio, though. 419. Oh, okay. Good. Well, I'm, hey, I just uh, about to start welding and uh, figure I put on the show to listen to and. Oh, oh right, comment, right, so, uh, right, right, right. That's right. You're the one that. So, so you're you're listening to what earbuds underneath your welding helmet? Yeah, with Bluetooth. Nice, nice, cool. All right, well, I'll, I'll put you back on. Yeah. That's, no, no big deal. Well, hey, uh, quick, quick question though. How do you? What did you think about that debate with uh, Jaren and? Uh, the oh Ra. yeah, yeah, and I'm not going to try to pronounce it right. Uh, phonetically, it's Aaron Ra, A R O N space R A, which is fine. It's not his birth name, so I really don't care how it's pronounced. Uh, but when it comes to that debate, I thought Jaron did as well as anyone would have done because it was it wasn't a setup from the beginning. He, all all Jaron had to do was hold his ground, and he did that admirably. Meaning, you know, Aaron was just going to launch, you know, attack after attack after attack. And this is what the guy is a basically a professional troll. That's all he does. And, and you got to remember the the debate. Yeah, I never had, heard of him. Uh, I have. He's been trying to get one of us on the air for better part of a year, and I was one of the guys that turned him down. Because it's like, look, uh, no offense, but all you do, he, he's the head of an atheist society. So his normal routine is trolling strong Christian groups. In fact, the, the guy that he debated before he got to Jaron was none other than Kent Hovind. And I was amazed. Oh, wow. that he, yeah, I know, right? And I listened to that, and, and I and I was hoping that Jaron would have listened to the Kent Hovind debate before he got into it. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But that would have given you an idea of how Aaron does his attacks. And he was, and you know, Kent Hovind's no slouch. I mean, the man, the man can debate, no question. And Aaron was coming at him with everything you know, under the sun, and that was his specialty, which was what what is going on on the other end of that phone, man. <laughs> oh, this is my coworkers, man. Hey, they they don't know I'm on the phone, so that's all right. That's all right. So anyway, the point is 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 that Aaron specializes in going after the religious right. And with Jaron, he that's that's not the case. Which is the same thing with me. Is like why, you know, which is why I turned him down. It's like, look, uh, you you specialize in in going after, you know, going after Christianity. What what is that going to do in a, in a flat Earth debate? 
So Jared did fine. Yeah, and they did kind of start attacking him at the end. Well, the the moderators. The only thing did, I didn't like. The only thing I didn't like is he didn't have like Jared was just hitting him with the I don't know. I, I wish he would have just, you know what I mean, put a little more more answer to it and stuck it to him, you know, instead of being yeah, like a nice. Th- about it. In in Jaren's case, again, he all he had to do was stay stay put and let the attacks come because they were getting frustrated because they were just bouncing off of him. I could tell by Jaren's demeanor. Yeah, he he got he vented. I'm sure when he hung up the phone, but he had nothing to be sad about in in that debate because Aaron was getting was starting to lose it. He was starting to get uh, he was starting to swear and start to uh, you know the the moderators got involved what they they never ever should have done so anyway he he did fine go ahead oh go ahead my bad no 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 well, I said one of the moderators flat out said he you know he don't believe in it you know so yeah. that kind of just sets the tone right there like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you're a moderator, you have to stay objective. That's the whole point. You had it on your channel. You you had a neutral ground. And then after, what, it was, wasn't even an hour, the moderators start going after Jaron because, again, Flat Earth is so polarizing. And and they, they couldn't help themselves. So, yeah, I, I, it, it was a victory hey, in my I book. Send you a, Go ahead. I sent you an email about... Uh... About that Apple commercial, how they're promoting gravity. Right. I don't know if you if you saw it yet. I did. I, I did. I saw it. it. And I was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was a it was a cute little thing, but. So again, I, I hope that Jaron does more of these, and I hope in the future I really don't encourage anyone to debate Aaron because he look he's he's liter- he's just a professional troll. That's all he is. That's all he does, and you're not going to get any sort of civil debate. He started to crack. Jaron didn't, and like, honestly, Jaron probably shouldn't have done it in the first place. Well, Mike, well, uh, thanks for the show, and I'll continue listening, man. All right, man. You have a good one. All right, you take care. All right, bye bye. Okay. We are going to jump over to apologize for the grinding sound in the background, guys. He was literally in a place where they were doing a lot of metal work. Okay, how about 612 area code? Ready? Here we go. 612, you're on live with Strange World. What are we talking about and do I care? I hope you care. Uh, hey, Mark, West Face Platter, News Talk. Wait for it. Yo. Uh. No yes. size. Wow. Okay. No, no, there's a little yeah, bit of a delay. Slow, you, you, you got to remember. No, no, no. It's not my fault. Uh, there's like a half second delay during when we're doing call back and forth. And I, I know it sounds like I'm stepping on toes every once in a while. It's not me, though. It's it's the phone system. So I, I'm I know, doing, I know. doing what I can. I was just messing with you. Hey, anyhow, uh, my thing was is that, uh, you know, I don't know if you even caught. Uh, I know you had a lot of stuff you had to do before you started your show but i didn't know if you caught um paul on the plane uh earlier and his uh um his uh uh cohort i guess you would call his wingman he happened to bring up something that just resonated with me and i wanted to see what your uh, thoughts were about it um he was talking about you know eli musk and and how he could just, you know, he was probably a huge believer in space and whatnot. And, yeah, we could do it for cheaper and let's just throw a bunch of money at it. And, you know, one one big explosion after another uh-huh. until NASA came along and said, look, okay, we'll let you in on it. I think that might have something resonating in that, some truth. I think maybe he did you know, find out from NASA and they're like, well, this is how you're going to fake space. He, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm what sure a Europe. He, he knows about how to fake stuff. Do I think he knows what the world really looks like? No, I don't because I wouldn't tell him if, if I was the powers that be kind of like Neil deGrasse Tyson and some of the other guys, you want them acting naturally. And they've already figured out right. that flat earth uh, do you, but do you really think that do you do you really think that uh, he was acting natural when he said that stupid quote? 
It's well, real. I, I, no I, look, I never, I never professed that the man was bright. You know, he, yeah, I know he's a software <laughs> developer, but I had plenty of software developer friends that were socially crippled, and he just seems like one of those right. guys. So, uh, yeah, he, he says some dumb things. Honestly, I'd never put him in front of a microphone ever and ever. I, I know, fine, he's worth several billion dollars, but that doesn't mean you put him in front of a microphone. For God's sakes, look at Mark Cuban. You know, Mike, Mark Cuban made a ton of money yep. in, in dot coms, and the man is a menace in front of a microphone. Yeah, he's got his own show, but he's a hothead, and he, he rubs people the wrong way a lot. In Elon's case, he just rubs people the dumb way. He, he just he says he, he says things that really should not be turned into sound bites, and you know the the his the most important one if you guys missed it was when he look when he looked at the launch he goes you know you know it's real because it looks so fake it's one of the worst things I've ever heard when because it, it doesn't even really make sense I, it was I know what he was going after in that quote he he's been, he should have just said oh it's surreal it doesn't even look real. Well, you know, there's like four or five different variations of that you could say, but he tried to turn it into something else. So, but do I think he knows uh, it's a flat and closed world? No, no, I don't. I, I think he's no, he's, I wouldn't think he would either. But, um, but, but yeah, you know, do it's, I think, it's, it's do, the point is he faking stuff? Sure, does the, he know the point I was trying stuff? to sure. make is that do you, yeah, the point that I was making was do you believe that NASA jumped in because of the well, maybe they were just looking for a scapegoat. I mean, yeah, honestly, maybe. Maybe. and wanted to pass it off to this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I like that idea. I, I absolutely do. Why not? I mean, if you're going to phase out NASA, the space shuttle program was shut down. Most Americans don't even know that. It's been shut down for years. And we, we don't see any shuttles anymore. We don't see any pictures of any ships docking. We don't see all, there's all sorts of stuff that's missing. And yeah, if you want to, if you want to kind of phase it out and then bring in a private company that you can you can hang it on you know the scapegoat the fall guy the patsy he's a perfect candidate he because one he's not even american right. he's south african if i'm not mistaken so yeah hang it on that right. guy sure why not you can you can right. he can be chased out of the u.s and no one will even know i mean not that americans don't really go to south africa that much so right yeah Exactly. Yeah. When they hear that, they go, "Wait a minute!" But he's white. Uh, hello, that's yeah, what's that. There. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. Let's not get into what South Africa is. Uh, any, any? Oh, yeah, I got exactly. some quick, quick, yeah. quick, quick quotes for you uh, from the yep. Beta Gallery. Okay. The only time the word "incorrectly" isn't spelled incorrectly is when it's spelled incorrectly. That's pretty funny. And the other one is, if you thought that science was certain, well, that is just an error on your part. And that's from Richard Feynman. So there you go. Well, I, I, you know, I tell you, he probably just punches in my name and these quotes pop up. You know, they might. Honestly. They might. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. My quote to him was from one of his other ones, the first one, which is, uh, wisdom does not explain stupidity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, can you be yeah, both? Can you be, can, can you be both wise and stupid? Yeah, I think everybody's got their moments. Because you can't, you can't be oh, yeah, wise in, in all areas. You know what I mean? You, you can right. be wise at some right. things, but and, yeah, yeah. Zulu uh, went. And I don't know if you caught his little pick that he's using tonight. Um, yeah, I sent him. I don't know ten different pictures. He's like, send me a pick. So he's putting our faces on it on characters, kind of cool. I don't hmm. know if you caught that or not. He should be falling in. Too. I did, yeah, yeah. I I did catch the pictures. Yeah, I, I was I really was as a comic book shop former owner, I was somewhat concerned that he mixed the Power Rangers, Iron Man, and the Wonder Twins all in one picture. Because you're you're talking three completely <laughs> different universes here. I you know Iron Man's Marvel, yeah. what, what Wonder Twins is DC, and then you got the Power Rangers. He probably yeah. did that on. I'm sure he did that on purpose just to piss off the comic book world. <laughs> yeah, may, yeah. Well, I would be one of them. And Gold Star for anyone who can call call in and let and tell me who the three members of the Wonder Twin, Twin group were because there were three. Oh. 
Yeah, I wouldn't even be able to answer that. I used to watch that all the time. Yeah. Because I'm I'm a little bit older than you, and yeah, I was really into a lot of the comic book cartoons that came out yeah. back in the early '60s and '70s. Hey, uh, we're going to break here in just a minute. So, any remarks? Any closing? Yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick uh, shout out to everybody, uh, letting them know that I know it's it, this is also uh, you know kind of short notice, but we are having a uh, flat Earth meetup over at the uh, Lunds Byerly store over in uh, Robbinsdale uh, at 4 o'clock on oh, cool. Saturday. Right on, man. Where and, uh, yeah, and Paul in the plane, if you're listening, give Mark a call. I just talked to him a little while ago, so oh, he okay. might, might call you. All right. Well, hey, and with All that, right. we're going to break. So. All right. Later, later, bye. All right. See you, man. All right, phone number to call in, 720-897-6111 or 213-233-3998. And let's see if it, my music is going to play. Yeah, there's my music. So what the hell happened the first time? What happened to my intro music? I loved my intro music. No, oh, whatever. Real people, real radio. Initiating the truth frequency. This is Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World Part 2 of 4. I'm your host, Mark Sargent. And it's tonight's call-in show. We got all sorts of people lined up. But before... You know what? I'll wait till the halfway point. I was going to do this segment. I was going to talk about what happened in the, the month. You know, the, the month review. What's so many different videos, so many channels, so many people that are getting involved in the Flat Earth thing now. And it's just getting ridiculous to where our stats are, are top on the charts. But now is not the time. Let us go to the phone lines. 914 area code. 914, you are on with Strange World right now. Hey, 914, pick up. Hey, Mark, Mark, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> what's, uh, what, what can I, what can uh, I do? I guess you? you can hear me over there. I can't. No, a couple of things. You know, I, I love your show. No, well, no, you can't. I know. I understand. Love your show, man. All right. It's a terrific show. A couple of things I want to just bring up very quickly. I know I'm limited with the time. Um, you know, I was, I was talking to earlier about ads on the moon. This amazing object up in space, which is the most obvious thing that anybody can, and everybody advertises all over the place. Mm-hmm. That one object up there, which, of course, doesn't exist. It's not a solid object as far as I'm concerned. Nobody can get up there. It doesn't exist. But there has never been an advertisement up there, ever. Right. It, well, you know why? Well, yeah, because they can't put it up there. Uh, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah. yet everybody thinks it's a solid object that exists and it's up there. But I mean, that one proof of all the billionaires up there, Facebook, I'm, well, I don't want to name any names here. Okay. Right. Um, respect that. But, uh, you know, all these companies that have all these billions and billions of dollars, don't you think they would have taken advantage of that one object up there in the sky for advertising? Oh, absolutely. It, it really is. It, it amazes me. In fact, there was a movie that touched on it a few years back, and I'll ask the peanut gallery see if he can remember the name of it. Remember uh, it, it, where Will Smith was a superhero, a, a drunk superhero, and at the end, he literally carved a corporate insignia into the moon. It was like a charity organization, like Heart First or whatever it was, and 
he carved it into the moon. And you're absolutely right because it's up there, right? And we only see the one side of the moon at all given times. It is the perfect canvas yeah, for av- sure. for advertising. You're you're absolutely right. And yet no one has ever done it. No one has even tried or even thought about it's never even pro- been proposed as a concept. Hancock was the name of the movie. If you guys know it, haven't never seen it, it's an interesting superhero movie. It's not part of the Marvel or DC universe. It's just him on his own, a drunk superhero. Uh, only when superheroes go bad. And that's what he did. Yeah, you're absolutely right. No advertising on the moon. Yeah. yeah well, I just want to bring that up and just uh, <clears throat> say a shout out to Zulu One and everybody else out there, you know, Candy and, and uh, Patricia. I'm sure she's around there listening. Uh, and, uh, you right. know, and thank you for taking my call. Hey, you're very welcome. You have a good day. Okay. All right. You too. Bye bye. All right. Let's pick up. Oh, who are we going to pick up? How about 231 area code? 231, are you actually calling from Michigan? Oh, and I pick up two. <laughs> you know, this happens every once in a while. I will go for the number and then be like, oh, crap, because they, they didn't call the dedicated show line. They just called in. It's like, I don't want to be picked up. All right, let's go to the next one down. Let's go to 417. 417, are you actually calling from Missouri? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Mark, how you doing? Pretty good. Hey, can you hear me now? I can. Hello? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Hey, I just wanted to give you a call, calling in from uh, Southwest Missouri. We had the uh, Global Deception Flat Earth Meetup uh, last Sunday. You did a flyer for us on your YouTube page. Oh, neat. And uh, just want to give you a big thank you for that. And uh, had a great time. Had about 15, 20 people show up. Had a good long discussion. We probably sat around for dude, every bit of four or five hours just talking. Everything came to mind. Even had a Spong Globy there to uh, have some opposition so that we weren't just, you know, sharing the same ideas we all believed in. That way we had to actually explain our points with them. We didn't turn them over, but uh, it was a uh, spirited speech with everybody. It was a really good time. Nice. Good idea shared. That's awesome. And again, we we've done, you know, there's been a whole bunch of debates and heated discussions over the last few years. And yet I have never heard of any story where it's come to something awful, something violent. You know, everyone's handled it pretty. Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. Any the globalist side, they get they get heated, but the, you know they're not attacking us as much as they're trying to attack the idea. And as anyone knows, an idea is tough to bring down. Oh man, you you got that one on the button. Yeah, but he he did a real good job. You know, he didn't get mad at nobody. Nobody got mad at him. And uh, you know, toward the end of it, I sat down beside him. I let him know, hey buddy, this is what it's like for me everywhere I go. Fifteen globies against me. Yeah. Yeah, and yet so, uh, you, you probably yeah, it was saw... real good. It was fun. Go ahead. I was just saying, you know, it was really fun. A lot of good ideas shared, and uh, everybody can't wait to get back together again. We had people drive two hundred miles, three over three hours to get down to that from Kansas City down to Springfield area. Oh heck, man! Uh, a lot I, of dedication I... going on. I've I've had meetups in Seattle where people drove in from Idaho. I was a meetup in the Springs down in Colorado, where uh, someone drove in tw- drove twelve hours from Surprise, Arizona. Go figure, right? I know. <laughs> I think I would have set my own little group up. Well, that's what I was doing because uh, you know there is a flatter a Kansas City group and a St. Louis group and stuff. So I was like, well, you know, we're the Queen City, we're the third largest city in the state. You know, yeah. we need to have a group going here, but I surely wasn't expecting nobody from Kansas City coming down. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it uh, flat Earth motivates people. It inspires and oh, it it get, gives people a whole bunch of energy to do some wonderful things. It's a different kind of activism altogether, though. Too, you know, it's it's it really is world changing and something you could do on your own. You know, you don't need a bunch of money to make something happen. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I just wanted to call in and tell you thanks for uh, doing the promo, and uh, we'll be sending you another one along, <laughs> hopefully sooner than later. All right, man. Well, hey, you have a good rest of your evening, okay? Hey, you too. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Let's jump on over to, oh, I don't know. 
How about 281 area code? Could be Houston, may not be. We'll find out. 281, are you there? I am here, and I wonder if you know who this is. Oh, Lord. Another female fan, I suppose. <laughs> just, just, you know, just a yeah, long... I, I, in fact, Mark, I'm such, I'm such a big fan of yours that I plan on somehow stalking you and tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern time talking to you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's actually... the. <laughs> The closest thing I, I think I've ever heard from you is is as far as a come on goes. I it's that's that's amazing. Thank you, for, <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> and you did and you did it anom <laughs> anonymously. <laughs> In case anyone, I know that when I I've been told that. Go ahead, go ahead. It's hard to not step over each other with the delay, just like when we do shows together. Yeah, yeah it's um, worse. I know I've been told that when I use my cell phone somehow my voice sounds muffled so it maybe it's easy to disguise my voice i didn't try but anyway i'm only calling to promote the secret show tomorrow at 6 p.m eastern that's it well don't hang up yet because people don't even know who you are this i am speaking with patricia steer from houston texas and what she's talking about is flat earth and other hot potatoes from the youtube channel of the same name and tomorrow, she and I are going to be doing our secret show, which is at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, where we go out of our way to talk about things that are not Flat Earth <laughs> and just kind of sneak in Flat Earth from, exactly. from time to time. And sometimes we have a cocktail. I wonder if we should have a drink tomorrow. I, I hmm. You know, you've been doing more and more of these drinking shows. It's starting to worry me. Yeah, exactly. Have a drinking show, please. <laughs> like, oh, I need a drinking show so badly. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll make uh, I'll make um, another one of my junior mints, and you can have some odd, oddly flavored tequila or vodka. <laughs> exactly, that's what I will have. Yeah, it's just adds another element to the show, and you know, as long as I stick to one drink, my liver and my head will be fine the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Peanut Gallery, by the way, he he seems to be contesting the time of our show. He's going, he's saying, yeah, 6 p.m. Eastern, that'll be the day. Meaning 6.20 p.m. Eastern is what yeah, he's trying yeah. to say. He's inferring he, he just, I perhaps I'm late. Yeah, he's saying 6, 6.30-ish. <laughs> he goes, give the right time. Eh. <laughs> 6.30-esque. Uh, not, not to but then again, look, Jaron. Jaron's sometimes late on Jaron's <laughs> channel, and really? I know Matt Powerland is sometimes late. Oh when he my hangout. God! The fact so, that you would bring both of them. I mean, okay, Jaron is chronically late. <laughs> yes, and the fact that you would even compare yourself to Matt. Oh God! I'm not. I'm not. I am not. I am not. At no, all. <laughs> because because even even when he comes on, he's still not on. I don't consider forty minutes of of him learning how to play a guitar, uh, you know, the show. That's just him warming up, possibly to the show. His music, his guitar is so deadly; it got a woman pregnant. <laughs> Think about it. Oh, you're gonna probably pay for that one. <laughs> He's, you probably, I'm sure. he's, he's probably somebody's going to send that part, that little clip to him, and he's, and then you're, next thing you know, you're going to have Katie coming after you. I think she already said I'm transgender, so you know <laughs> how much worse uh, can she say? Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. Anyway, um, All right. love what you're doing, love your work, well, and I hey. am listening. And I pulled over in my car, and I'm driving home, so I'll listen to the rest of the show and. Um, before I start up again, I'll go back into the live chat on Zulu's channel, Zulu One, and say hi to everyone. Cool. So, well, bye. thank you, Thanks thank you as always go. for calling, anonymous female fan, and uh, we'll we'll hook up later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Right. Bye. Call me on my other line. All right. So let's jump over to where are we going? Six one six area code. Looks like. Wait, did I already pick up 616? Nope. 616 hung up. I think I scared him away. Let's do 910 out of North Carolina, maybe. 
Nine one. I have to question this because people who take their cell phones with it. Like I have a, a Colorado area code on my phone, but it says that I. But I'm actually in Seattle. So nine one zero. Are you actually in North Carolina? Yes, I am. Is this your How first you doing, time? Mark? I'm doing well. Have, have you called before? Uh, I, think, I think I've called. I don't know if it was your show or another show. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a couple questions about stars. I'm a flat earther, but okay. uh, has anyone had any P900 close-ups of fallen stars? A little tricky, as you know, to do any sort of... Okay, here's the thing. With shooting stars like meteors or, or falling stars, they're usually so fast that even without the zoom of a P900, which I think is capped at 83 power, the new ones are going to have 125 power. But even without it, it'd, tough to, it'd be tough to catch it. And the slow-moving meteors or slow, you know, those are so rare that there just isn't enough P900s out there. The saturation point. We haven't seen well, any really, anything really, really slow yet. So, no, this is the, the short here's answer. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I live on the East Coast, uh, mm -hmm. you know, North Carolina, whatever. <clears throat> well, I go outside and I watch stars fall all the time. Well, me and my son saw a star fall, and it almost floated for a while before it actually, you know, made that trail and just trailed down really quickly. So I was just, hmm. you know, I was just wondering if anyone had any close-ups. And no, also, well, you know, no, not yet. what and, makes and, that light? What makes that light? What light? What makes the what makes the light diminish as it comes down? Is it uh like neon light? Is it the oh you mean like a like a shooting what is going star? on up there? Yeah. Wh what makes that light diminish? Uh, well, down? if you if you talk to mainstream science, and actually I I, I kind of agree with it in, in this case, and that is the mass that is burning up just gets less and less. You know, as the mass is, is being overheated by the friction of the atmosphere, it's just burning off. So if you start off with, I don't know, let's say 200 pounds, as it gets down to 50 pounds and 30 pounds, there's just less of it to glow. Uh, like like anything. I like a, I, like a, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical about that. Yeah. But uh, are you friends with the guy who is it, Rob Skiba? Yeah. Yeah, I'm friends with Rob. You know, you know him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I've heard him talk before about, you know, the angels or whatever, the fallen stars. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know where the term wish upon a star, a falling star came from. I'd like to know that. But I'd also, you know, like to tell him maybe this is angels disrobing as they come down. Hmm. And so you can't see their illuminated body. I don't know. That's I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to shoot it down. Uh, no play on words. Or, there. or it could just be, or it could just be physical, you know, things that God put in the firmament, or whoever did it put it there, and the sure. gases that are up there just glow, and when it comes down, those gases are not here, so it doesn't glow. I don't know. Yeah, I, again, some some good ideas. I I yeah. am in no position to say that they're wrong because uh, you know flat Earth. One of the common side effects of flat Earth is it gives you a really, really open mind to a lot of things. So, hey. And have I they like all burnt, have they all, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get out all my questions, I'm sorry. That's I didn't okay. mean to cut you off. That's okay. Have they, have all the stars, have all the stars burnt up and no one has found one when they fell? Has anyone went out and actually picked one up? Well, you know? uh, again, people have claimed that there are craters where there are pieces of the star inside, what is really yeah. difficult to find, even over the years, and granted, our camera technology is, isn't that old, but we, you know, find me it capturing a shooting star on film. That's fairly easy. Capturing one that ac actually makes it to the ground and causes a crater. That's really, really difficult. Extremely difficult. So that's, that's one things we're one of the things we're looking for. And I know where you're going with this. And hey. Uh, if anyone's out there, you know, you're, you're out in your P900 and you're bored, just start taking shots at night and hopefully you can catch a shooting star. And if you're lucky yeah, enough, hopefully, maybe. And as, yeah, okay. hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, maybe. Far, as far as the moon, as far as the moon goes, man, I'm, I mean, I've sort of passed, I don't know how many months now. I go outside every day and night and it's there. Right. I mean, 
It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. The moon yeah, is a mystery. In fact, I, I use the moon as two different parts of my five scientific questions that I throw throw at the academics. Two of them are directly tied to the moon. One is the, the moon eclipse and the shadow compared to the earth mm-hmm. eclipse and the shadow. And the other one is the moon temperature. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's just two little have things. You seen, Go ahead. Have you seen this? I don't know if you've seen this, but me and my father have seen the same thing on the moon. And it looks like a man's face sideways is kissing a woman. I have not seen this. And when, sounds sounds very romantic. And so when right? you not when you look it. at a close up, when you look at a close up of it, I mean, it kind of looks like the guy has dark hair and he's kissing a woman. That's what it looks like. Hmm. Like one half is the man's face, it's one half of his face, and the other half of the moon is the other. You know. I I have never heard of the kissing couple on the moon, but heck, why not? Oh, if you they... can see it, if you can see it, people, please call in, please. Okay. So, Thank you. Thank you. Any anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Have a good night. <laughs> you too. Bye bye. All right. Let's go to heck. I might as well go to Kansas. Maybe Wichita, Kansas. Three one six area code. Three one six. You are on the air with Strange World, talking to me and probably millions of people. So don't screw it up. Uh, hey, Mark, first time caller. Uh, yeah, first time this, caller. <laughs> yeah, I recently got into this whole flat earth good deal, and I started was flipping through my YouTube, and they always into conspiracy theories, and it popped up. Started listening to it, your show popped up. Started listening to it, and got really interested. Started started looking at things, and I always wondered. Uh, uh, you always talk about the plane and the plane deal, how it, uh, the gyroscope, they got to dip it over right. so often or whatever. Right. Uh, I was, if you watch a plane and it like leaves your sight, mm-hmm. you always see the, you always see the, the end of it. You never see like the belly. So you never yeah. see like plane get to the earth. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You only you see, see the, the ass end of the plane. From the, yeah. from the back. Yeah, a plane, if it goes far enough in the distance, should look like it's crashing. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, it should look like it's it's right to the earth. And you never see that. I mean, I live in Wichita, so we have planes fly over our our state all the time. And I never see them dip down and anything like that. And I I always uh, wondered about the moon. You... um, Everybody says like the, the craters that you see on the moon are from a- asteroids or whatever. Where the I heard a dude say today earlier that if we if we've always looked at the same side of the moon, right. where'd those asteroids come from? Did we throw <laughs> rocks at the moon? Well, did we, did we create those craters from our Earth? I you know what I, in in this case mainstream science is going to come back and say well you know the moon's face wasn't always the same with us you know I know it's locked in now but was it locked in 100,000 years ago but but to the craters to what you were saying about the craters you're absolutely right and that what's interesting to me and I wasn't the one that came up with this was that the moon craters are perfect circles and the perfect circles can only be formed by 90 degree angle impact you know an impact coming straight down so what are the odds that every single crater in the moon are coming at it straight down aren't they, where are the glancing blows you know it should be and, there should there sh- it should look and like, when like did, sh- and, go ahead and when did this galactic battle happen like right like you we see meteor showers happen all the time now but we never really see asteroids hit the planet and then i mean you've got you got the main one with the dinosaurs but i mean like when do you when do we have these asteroids that hit this earth that look like those craters we see on the moon right i mean we might have little ones that science says that they craters we never really know but i was always wondering that a little interesting thing i did today and because uh Watch the moon landing because my grandma, she she watched it live. So she's like, I've seen this live. You're, you got to understand, you're talking to somebody that's seen it live. So, yeah. I, uh, and what, what am I, I was former... watching it with my daughter. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nope. Go I ahead. was watching it with my daughter, the moon landing in 1969. And I was like, I was like, just watch it. She was watching it and I was like, does this look real to you? She's like, no. Where are the stars? And I'm like, she's eight years old. And she even notices that there's no stars in that in that film. Hmm. So 
on the 69 Apollo 11 moon landing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the the, the no stars. Well, I, I would have done the same thing back in the day, and that is it, it was problematic from a technical point of view, meaning if the stars are in the wrong place, some nerd in the middle of nowhere at 3 in the morning is going to figure that out. And w- w- if they call you on it, you're screwed because the everything on the moon was supposedly date and time stamped. So if the belt of Orion's in the wrong place, there's nothing you can do to remove it after the fact. So in the, their case, it's like, well, let's just get rid of the stars entirely. We'll tell people we the camera, the camera technology didn't allow to see stars. It's like, whatever. And by the way, the um, uh, one of my former guests, Karen B., uh, from the same YouTube channel, Karen B. She says that Carters are from electrical arcing. And I think she meant to say craters, but she didn't bother to spell check. So kind of sloppy work there, Karen. Uh, but yeah, she says the craters are from electrical arcing. Interesting thought. So any, anything yeah, else you got? I mean, I don't know. That's, that's it. I was just, thought that was interesting that we don't see planes crash or look like they're crashing into the earth. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But it was good talking, and uh, I'm, I'm going to continue listening to your show, interested to see what everybody else has to say about it. And good talking to you, Mark. All right. Hey, you have a good rest of your evening. All right. You too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, we got about a minute and a half until the break. Let me give out the phone numbers again. I don't want to pick up the Texas 2541 until we get back from the break. So 254, you're going to have to hang tough for at least three or four minutes. Sorry to do that to you. Phone numbers to call in are 213-233-3998 or 720-897-6111, which will be routed to that 213 number. The UK number, don't forget your country code, which is 011. And then it's 442033932871. Or if you just want to call and listen to the show and not have me pick you up and make fun of you, that's not true. I'd hardly ever make fun of people. Except for Zulu Candy, Karen, Peanut Gallery, Patricia, David. There's all sorts of people actually I'd make fun of. Uh, 641-793-7117. And yeah, if anyone wants to call in, I'd love to talk with them. This is Strange World ending part two of four. And so far, the music has been great. Again, apologies. I will have to correct the... Maybe I'll just chop out that intro music. It was so lame. The intro music was so generic. I'm going to have to get rid of it. And Peanut Gallery says, make fun of Karen B. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I should make fun of Karen B. Yeah, she's not calling in to defend herself. So, ah, crap. Saved by the music. You're lucky, Karen. So lucky. You must unite what has been set aside. We are TFR. Truth Frequency Radio. Welcome back to Strange World Part 3 of 4. Tonight is a call-in show. And if you don't know the numbers by now, well, I'm not going to give them to you. You have to go to Truth Frequency Radio and look it up yourself. 
So there. And I know, I swear, I was going to get to the whole flat earth, what's happening this month, but I, I wanted to get a good break in the action. And you know what? I got to pick up, I got to at least pick up this 254 call first from Texas because they've been waiting quite a long time. 254 from Texas. Are you actually in Texas or are you just pretending to be Texan? I'm just pretending to be Texan. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> What's up, Marcus Shanahoney? Hey, what's going on? How are you? Can't complain. Can't complain. Well, I'm still alive. You know. <laughs> were Were you worried Man. that you wouldn't be? Oh well, yeah, I got after, uh, I got T bone like a little over a week ago. Did I know this? That you got in a car wreck? I don't think so. Oh, well, I'm glad you're okay. You sound okay, kind of. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> All right, good. What, uh, what's on I your mind this I'm evening? I'm still alive. Look at my health. Well, you know, something that's been weighing on my heart for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, know, you know how, I don't know if you remember my whole story about my flat earth awakening. You probably don't because you talk to a lot of people. I do talk to a lot of people, but that's okay. But, you know, it's been a long journey and, you know, I was not a conspiracy theorist at all. Mm -hmm. And Flat Earth was my lead-in to conspiracy theory. So that was like, I went down the rabbit hole backwards kind of thing. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. I do. Because <laughs> if you start there, it's like you're starting at the end. And yeah. So I started at the end and went backwards. And what just really has been bothering me lately is the fact that there's a there's a lot of fire up there that are out there that that I respect because of their research and many things and that I don't understand how they can't see that they have a creator or they don't embrace the fact of that because to me I'm like I have my to me it brought me closer to I have my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and I don't know how So many people are, because to me, that's like beyond even flat earth. It's like, that's it, what they were it, trying it is, to hide. It is, but remember, God is a, has, has always been a, a tricky concept for a whole bunch of people. I mean, it's one of the reasons why we have as many religions as we do in this world. And it's a tough, it's a tough call. Sometimes there's people that the flat earth gets people so excited. They don't, uh, the, the, for a lot of them, the first thing they, they think of is not rushing out to hug a cross. You know what I mean? They're, well, well, I'm not a cross hugger cause I'm not a fan of the cross. I'm just saying it, it seems like the natural place to go once you find the truth. And it, yeah. You know, once your eyes are open, it seems like, to me, a very, uh, I, I know it's hard. I mean, nobody wants to just be like, oh, now I got to live like a certain way or whatever, you know, but I don't necessarily think, I don't I know. I, I don't no, want I, I, I I to get into all the details of that. <laughs> There's a lot of people that I think quietly have come back to spirituality because of the flat earth and you don't hear from them. So don't, don't worry too much because again, it's, if you believe whether you believe in the dome or no dome enclosed, not enclosed flat or infinite plane, uh, it's, it immediately, right. immediately becomes apparent to you that it's not organic. You know, I'm so, you meaning it's not some natural formed thing. It was manufactured, right. it was built, it was created. And it takes a while for people to wrap their heads around it, which is why it took me so long to even address 
the whole issue of religion and God when I was doing the clues. Remember, I didn't even touch on that until right. I did the, you, they are, you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, because because again, you don't want to people get spooked. So don't don't worry. Don't worry again. It's but once a lot you more get to a certain point, don't you want to scream that from the rooftops? Yeah, some do. You know? Some do, but others have a humble I feeling. Mean, Other people just want to sit in a chair in their home quietly and look up and say, "Okay, what do I do now?" You know that sort of moment. I mean, it's great that you have the enthusiasm. Wonderful, as a matter of fact. There are a lot of different types <laughs> of people in the world, so don't don't be too don't be too hard on them. You know, there's some people that go to church only on Sundays. There's some people who go to church five times a week if they could. So well, it, it, there's some people that don't even go to church like me. I used to. I stopped because I realized those people that I was around, I didn't, those are not the people I want to be around. I want to be worshiping with people that are like minded, like me. Yeah, good for you. And I don't Excellent. have anybody like that. <laughs> I, I hear you. Well, I hear you. you know, I have my husband and my son and my mother in law. We can do that kind of thing. And, but, yeah. you know, I realized that I didn't want to be a part of some kind of system. Yeah. Yeah. Of monarchy type religion. I don't, religion is not worship to me of my creator. Religion is a totally different subject. I, and, and you know what? I would love to talk about this subject and turn this into a theological discussion. However, it is a college yeah, show. I know this is not what your show is about. I, well, no, no, really. it's not. It's I not know. that. No, I no, just no, no, no. I don't. I don't, you did. I don't. I do not mind talking about God. Look, I can quote some chapter and verse, especially since I've gotten into flat Earth. No, the problem is time. I remember, I, I can only spend so much time. I'd I know that. To, I know that. I, I, but I, I have to. There's people. There's. Well, you got people. my number. You can I, call I, me I, anytime, Mark. I'd love to have a theological. Discussion with you. All right. You know what? I will make it a point to call you and fairly soon because I'm gonna my schedule is gonna get pretty busy here and uh, I won't be able to call you when I'm on the road. I know you. I I know. (laughs) But I'm so happy that you're busy and you got all this. And you know, I'm I'm thrilled about fire getting like a breakthrough because to me it is a a window opener to people that were atheists or yeah whatever. That's yeah. why I said I hate that some flat earthers are just like I, not even going there. I can, you know, you can't. There's always some in every group, even flat earth, but we still got a massive retention rate. Anyway, I am kicking you off the phone because I got I to gotta pick up other okay. people. But hey, well, we'll talk, we'll talk again soon. I hope you have a great okay? night and God bless everybody. You too. All right. All right. Bye bye. All right, let's go to North Carolina 980 area code. 980 area code, you're on live with Strange World. If it's your first time, don't be nervous. But if it is your first time, don't screw it up either because people will laugh. Well, you know, I'm not nervous. <laughs> Are you nervous, Mark? Oh. Uh... Um, now I'm I'm more scared because if you're actually calling and and this is this is Karen, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Listen, then I'm I'm a little I don't worried. I appreciate you broadcasting my typo all over in front of God and everybody. What are you thinking? Oh, that was a that was a typo. Holy smokes, I, I thought you were actually saying Carter's. I was going, what have the Carter's got to do with that administration? Hasn't been in power for years. But, you yeah, know, whatever. I'm going to say that the Carter's were formed by electrical arcs. Hey, I'm not going to shoot it down. It's uh, it's fine. You remember Amy? Amy Carter? Were you old enough to remember her? Yeah, she was nice. No. Anyway. No, I'm not as old as you remember. Thanks. Thanks. I know you're, what, 29? Almost. <laughs> How are you, by the way? I'm great. How are you? I I can't really complain. I, I've got a meetup. I've got to, I get to do with D Marble next weekend, and uh, the film festival. Super excited about that. Going going up to Canada and and seeing if uh, if they did us proud, and then uh, whatever happens when I get back. Oh, then I'm going to Phoenix after I get back. 
should be a lot of fun. So yeah, it's been, it's, it's really, really great so far. Oh, wait, you're going to Canada. Did you say Canada? Yeah, up there in the north, above Minnesota and, and Wisconsin. <laughs> Going to go up there and, and price out some hockey sticks and maybe some wheels of cheese and some ketchup-flavored potato chips. Mm. And are you gonna are you gonna talk about how you're living in the Truman Show enclosed structure, thousands of miles wide? That's kind of what I do all day, isn't it? <laughs> why Why would I not tell talk about that while I'm up there? <laughs> Or do you want me to, or am I going to put a, a whole different accent on it when I'm up there? In fact, there's a there's a call. The call that I'm going to pick up right after yours is from Montreal in Quebec. So no, I, I'm I'm big in Canada. Ask anyone. You're big in Canada. <laughs> I'm big in Canada. Like like David Hasselhoff is big in Germany. Yeah, I'm I'm big in Canada. I lived up there for I lived up there for a whole year. I lived in Victoria. On the on the far western edge of Canada, where no one has an accent, they all talk like newscasters, like us. What do you yeah. mean, like us? I don't well, like a newscaster. Well, you, well, you know what I mean. You don't you don't really have an accent. You know, there's there's like the southern accent, the north northeast accent, and Chicago and Midwest and Minnesota. But when you get like in Arizona, Colorado, Idaho, Oregon, Nevada, there's there's the the accents. I I don't even know if you call it an accent. I mean, it's it's called Western, but that's the accent that all mainstream newscasters use. Is that accent? You don't you don't you, people up in up you know broadcasting out of Minneapolis. They don't talk about. You know they don't they don't talk and accent their O's and their E's. You know what I mean? This conversation is really not not going the way I'd planned it. So what what can I what can I do for you, Karen? Is there anything else that you'd like to make me awkwardly uncomfortable about? Um. No. No. I'll let you off the hook easy tonight. Thanks. Oh, you're gonna call me privately and and kind of give me a tongue lashing. See what I did there? Wouldn't don't you wish? Don't <laughs> you wish. I do. I do <laughs> wish. I think you're. I think you're a very interesting and attractive woman, and I would never say otherwise. Oh, well. That's See? A, oh, comp compliments. Tongue tie you. That's another thing I wish. All right, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. All right, I, I will talk. Do some stuff. All right. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> All right, <laughs> bye. Okay, let's pick up. I feel bad because Montreal's been uh, on hold for a while, and I think that's long distance because I don't think there's a special number for those guys. All right, Montreal five one four area code. Are you actually in Quebec? And hopefully you have. Of been... course, I have. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I, Mark, how are you? I am good. How are you? I'm good, baby. <laughs> First time caller. Okay. Uh, I was sleeping in bed and <laughs> I decided to call you. Uh, how do you? I listen to you every day. Oh, nice. Uh, Patricia is here too. Yes. If I don't accent it, because I'm Italian. <laughs> um, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. When I wake up in the morning and I go to work, I leave around five o'clock. Yeah. Why do I see the? I still see the moon. Why do you still see? the I moon? I see the moon at five in the morning. Yes, in the east. You know, I'm in Montreal. Like uh, I drive, I see the moon, and I'm saying, "What the hell is this? I, Why am I seeing the moon here for?" Oh, that's an excellent <laughs> question. I've seen. I've watched so many interesting videos about people who have recorded the moon in odd places and odd phases. You know, not just not just waxing and waning crescents or half moons or full moons, but the they, they, the one thing I really love about flat Earth, well, many things, but the one thing about the moon with flat Earth that I really love is people look at the moon differently now. They're always questioning it, and yours is right along those lines, which is you're saying, wait, what is the moon doing? I, you're basically skeptical of the moon. How many people can actually say that? Yeah. Because yeah. 
because <laughs> the sun is rising. I see that like the sun is rising, and yeah. I still see the boom. Yeah, it's still here. It's like uh, hello. People are getting here. Going to bed soon. <laughs> You're all supposed to be somewhere else, right? Yeah. All I can tell you is the moon is part of the ceiling display. Uh, whether it's detached or yeah. attached, I am not sure. It is no different than if you went down to Neil deGrasse Tyson's Hayden Planetarium and looked at it oh, there. I can't stand that guy. Yeah, I know. I, I can't, can't stand that guy. I'm hopefully one day he and I will meet, although it may not be as friendly as... No, I, I don't like. think so. No, I probably I don't, I don't think so. He won't. Yeah. He won't meet up with you. He's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I listen to all your YouTubes. Uh, it's, uh, what, a year now? Uh, you... A year? I listen to you all the time. All the time. Oh, cool. I'm always on. I'm always on listening. This is the first time you've called in a year? Shame on you. What's going on? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I get nervous on the phone. Oh, uh, that's okay. You wouldn't. You wouldn't be alone. Uh, people. People get nervous just calling in the radio. Imagine being me, actually doing the radio show. First. First times I was actually <laughs> doing. Seriously, I was doing the show. I actually had to take like two or three glasses of wine for like my first month that I was doing it, and I had a co-host. Ne- to boot. Next time, and yeah, <laughs> next time I call, I think I'm gonna be drunk a bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. You we guys, already have. We already have I'll, way too many drunk callers. Well, well, I, yeah, like Patricia. No, 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 no. Patricia wasn't drunk. Uh, oh, God, I was gonna... Don't say that. Don't say that. Patricia was not drunk. I'm pretty sure. No, she Patricia... was driving. Oh, she... Well, I'm pretty no, sure no. she was drunk and driving. But that's okay. We'll, we'll let it slide. Okay. Anyway, well, what else? Thanks. Yeah. No, that's it. If okay. I have any questions, I'll call in. Uh, well, it wasn't. Uh, how, how do you think it went? And... You think you, you think you the call went okay? Yeah, yeah. Everything's good. Everything's well, good. Now I can sleep better. All right. Well, uh, I, you know me. At night, I I sleep with you. I sleep sometimes. I fall asleep, and you just oh, in my earbuds, and I fall asleep with oh, you on the phone. <laughs> no, don't listen to me when you fall asleep. Seriously, anyone that's out there listening <laughs> to me f- and trying to have hot sex fall asleep, you have no idea what I'm going to put in your hot sex. It, what I'm going to put into your head. So <laughs> don't 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 do it. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm, seriously, I'm though, your, your, your call went well, <laughs> and if you ever decide to call in again, I will look for your location, which says Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Okay. And Thank you're you, act- and I'll have a drink with you guys tomorrow. At All right. All right, right on. And <laughs> hey, right. your accent Thanks, is Mark. hardly noticeable. Hey, you have a good <clears throat> night, okay? Yes, you too. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, we still got oh, seven minutes, something to break. Now is a good point where I want to I want to talk for a little bit about what's happened over the last month because I don't know if I'm going to get a chance. I maybe I'll talk about it tomorrow with my co-host Patricia Steer. Actually, am, am I her co-host? Yeah, it's her show, Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes, and it's going to be on at three Pacific, six Eastern on Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes YouTube channel. However, I want to mention this real quick because I realized that I've had guests and subject matter experts and I haven't been doing what's been going on in Flat Earth lately. And so what I did was I go into YouTube. You guys can follow along if you want. I go into YouTube and I type in Flat Earth and I set the filter to one month, just one month. And it's amazing how much the landscape has changed because of all the stories that that have gotten involved. So... Like, for example, if you look at the you set it to one month, you look at the top, I don't know, 15 or 20. Let me just rattle them off real quick. Like BuzzFeed Blue is almost always at the top now. And it's got what, 7 million subs. It's called the Flatter Theory Explained. It's kind of a parody, but he never backs off entirely. And this is the same guy that interviewed me down at the, and other people down at the Raleigh Conference last year for the 2017 Flat Earth International Conference. And then the second one is Engineering Explained, Five Facts That Prove the Earth is Flat. That's also verified. Big Think called Chris Hatfield, The Astronaut's Guide to Flat Earth Theory. That was only uh, not even three weeks ago where Chris Hatfield, uh, astronaut, Canadian astronaut, actually addressed Flat Earth and did his own special video th- with Big Think. CBS News follows that. Man launches himself in self-made rocket to prove Flat Earth. Remember, the the, the Mad Mike thing was not that long ago at all. The the final where he actually got, did the launch. The next one's called Flat Earther Rocket Man Proves the Haters Wrong by Weekly Weird News. 
uh, and that's on the ETC show. And then Penguins Zero, also another verified, another half a million views. He's actually commenting on the BuzzFeed thing, which is at the top of the list. You have BBC covering the Mad Mike thing. And then two things literally from five and six hours ago, Me Malicious and Will N.E., the, you know, pushing about a quarter million hits each, you know, even though they're only five hours long, going after flat earthers, you got laugh, L A H W F three weeks ago, 800 K views where he's chatting with a flat earther that I didn't know existed. PewDiePie got to throw him into the mix. The biggest channel in the world. He covered people actually believe the earth is flat with Patricia and I on the cover. It's up to four. He, he's never going to break five million anymore because all his subs are, are phantoms. But he's got you know four point four point four point five million hits in a week. JRA clips. He's he keeps cranking out stuff. Joe Rogan explains Eddie Bravo's flat Earth beliefs. Inform overload. They're spending a quite a bit of their time trying to create videos that are giving them more and more hits. And they're basically just trolling flat earthers. That's all they're doing. So like the one from a week ago, Mount Everest selfie destroys flat earth theory. It's complete clickbait. It doesn't do anything. They're, and, they, and the, the video is very, very short. And it's literally, they're just trying to get the flat earth community to, to come after them. Then you got reaction time. That was only a week ago. The funniest earth is flat memes. That's a takeoff on PewDiePie's thing. CBS local news. Then me malicious again. Then inform overload again. These are all in the same month. Uh, let's see. Unexplained mysteries. Me malicious again. Oh, yeah, it just goes on and on and on. Uh, there's so many videos. Just if you get a chance, literally look at what happened, what has happened in the last month when it comes to Flat Earth, all the different channels that have gotten into this. Uh, I call it the bandwagon. You've all heard. If you, you don't know what a bandwagon is, look it up. People are jumping on because Flat Earth is getting red, red hot. Uh, and I know I got, I got a few calls piling up. I'm not going to pick you, any of them up right this second because I, I want to get this point out. Beforehand, when Flat Earth was just starting out, I said that it was not that big compared to some of the heavy, heavy hitters that are out there, you know, out in mainstream media. I said you couldn't compare to like the, the ones I used was, yeah, we were beating Lady Gaga, but we couldn't beat Katy Perry or Taylor Swift. Well, now we're actually in the discussion. Meaning, if you type in, go ahead and do this if you go if you if you get a chance. Type in flat Earth and set the filter to upload date. It'll change and go to twenty point three million. The reason why I mention this is we broke twenty million not that long ago. We've just been ramping up and ramping up. If you type in Katy Perry and set it to upload date, she'll come in. I think like twenty four million. You set in Taylor Swift, she'll come in. I think at twenty six million, give or take. Uh, and we're now in the discussion. Donald Trump, he's coming in at about 22. We've been gaining on Donald Trump recently. So we are now, Flat Earth is now women. We have not even hit the top tier media outlets yet, the, the daytime talk shows and uh, CBS Network and ABC and NBC and Fox and, and all those guys. We, we're, we're almost there. But when that happens, uh, will the documentary help? Yes, it absolutely will. But once that happens, we will become one of the most popular topics in the world. And that's saying something, considering we have not spent really any marketing dollars on it. It's just happening naturally through word of mouth, through people like you who are spreading the word, who are doing the meetups. It is just generating so much interest and in the snowball just keeps growing and growing and growing. I mean, honestly... <clears throat> Type in any other topic into YouTube and sort by upload date and take take your take notes. Compare. I'm gonna probably gonna do another video on this eventually. Although when I do, it kind of jinxes us, so maybe I won't. But I, I've got to mention. Look, Katy Perry, Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber. These are the monsters of of YouTube, and we are gaining on them. And we're getting we're within striking distance now. PewDiePie doesn't really count. And honestly, you type in PewDiePie, I don't think he comes in at like seven or eight million. We blow him out the doors just because his numbers are. Most Mostly false. I know I'm kind of rambling, and I've got a minute left till the till the final break, and then I'll pick up as many calls as I can. I swear I'll pick up Houston, I'll pick up Eugene, I'll pick up Middleton, and whoever this calls coming in from nine one six area code. But I gotta mention this, and that is, if you haven't had a chance to look at the the flat Earth landscape recently, do so. Look at the stats. I know I'm a stat fiend. I know I'm a stat whore. But the stats really, really tell an interesting story. And the, the, the one I'm looking at now is find me someone on the Internet. Find me a mainstream icon, a media icon that's generating bigger numbers than us. And note that we are closing the distance. And we haven't even hit our stride yet. Not really. 
we're we're getting there. We're we're smoldering, almost bursting into flames. We're we're really really close. <laughs> And I'll be talking about that more during the meetup I've got to do this weekend and in Toronto and the Canadian thing. Uh, it's an exciting time to be in Flat Earth. And if you're listening now, uh, I'm excited for you. Anyway, coming back after the break. It seems to me so strange. Check wallet for his name. His face is in the muck. I think his zipper's stuck. This is Truth Frequency Radio. No hate, no hype, no fear. Real people, real radio. Welcome back to Strange World, part four of four. I'm your host, Mark Sargent. We're doing a call-in show, and judging by the number of people that are in the queue, I'm not going to give out the phone number anymore. So let's do Oregon 541 area code. You're on live with Strange World. What are we talking about? Hey, Mark. It's Reggie. Flat Earth Herbs. How are you? Hey, I'm pretty (laughs) well. What's on your mind? Oh, I don't know. It's been raining crazy here, but you know, it's 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 normal Oregon weather. Yeah. I have a couple of things to tell you, or you know, mention. Mm-hmm. You know, this whole thing about last days and things like that. We've all heard about it, yeah. or some of us haven't, but it's something people can look into. And what I found when I looked into it, um, according to the Bible, anyway, it says, "As it was in the day of Noah." And the day of Lot, so shall it be, you know, in the last days. And if you take a look at what that means, I mean, to me, that says, well, what was going on, right? Right. So we can read a story about, you know, sexual type things where um, Lot's family was in his house and there were these visitors. They were actually visiting angels from what we understand. and. Mm-hmm. And people in the streets were trying to get them to come join them, and I guess Lot knew it wasn't a good place for them, so he invited them to come into his house instead and protect them. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're the ones that told him, for him and his wife, you know, to leave and not look back, you know, when they yeah. left. Um, yeah. yeah. So what was going on from what I can tell so far, and, and it's kind of some digging, and it's like creepy kind of stuff. Um I guess, you know how we see uh, minotaurs and, you know, creatures that are half man and half horse and mm-hmm. things like that? Yeah. Well, I think there was some crazy, like, crossbreeding with animals that, like, the Nephilim were into. And that was, like, a spit in the eye of God as far as contaminating his creation. So just something to think about. Okay. And here we have all all this AI stuff going on, and it's like, okay, you know, <laughs> right. crazy things. I hear you. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, it's curious. So it is curious. I hope you're doing well. Hello, every, hello, everybody, and hope everybody out there is doing good. You know, stay strong. All Hold right. <laughs> I, hey, we're, right. we're on the cusp of something big, so get ready for it. Oh, I hope so. Um yeah. My heart was very much with Jaron during that whole debacle. <laughs> God, uh, Aaron, I just Aaron. wanted to come out swinging. I'm, yeah, I know, he I he know. he held his own, yeah. but yeah, it was like, yeah, hey, that, that yeah. guy and what's his name, Aaron Aaron, Aaron Rock. Rock. Crazy yeah, man. there's only so much you angry, can do. Angry, angry man. Yeah, well, <laughs> flat yeah. Earth flat Earth generates that sort of energy, both positive and negative. So I I can understand him being angry. He'll 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 turn one of one of these days. He'll become one of us. They all do. Hey, maybe he will. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I know you got a lot of stuff going on, and yep. uh, I won't keep you. Just want to say hi. All right. Hey, have a good one. You have a good night. All right. You too. Mm-hmm. Bye bye. 
All right, let's jump straight over to 845 area code. I think that's New York. New York, what's going on? Hey, Mark, how are you? It's Mark uh, from New York. Hey. Hanging in there. <laughs> like, like people don't know who you are by now. I know, I know, I know. I'm a pain in the ass. I keep yeah. calling. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Hey, you never said to stop calling. It's your fault. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks. Blame it on me. <laughs> Hey, was that was that the famous marine biologist Karen B you had on on the line before? <laughs> it was. I'm pretty sure it was accomplished author, marine biologist, and former adult film actress. Yes, uh, yeah. she's amazing. I know. I love her. I know. I her. Pretty much a Renaissance woman, in <laughs> my opinion. Yes, yes. Hey, I've been uh, watching TV a little bit this week, and I saw a. Well, I think actually I told you I was watching NCIS and they had a whole thing on NASA and fake moon dust. It was pretty funny watching it. Crazy. Hey, and wait, wait was that the solo. one? And you'll have to forgive me. Was that the one where Jake Busey was on? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, who the heck was the guy? I forgot there was a name. show on a cross. There was uh, no, it was Jake an older dude. Uh, nuts. Because Jake Busey was on a not not. Um, uh, not the father. Oh boy, Gary Busey, the son, Jake Busey, the guy, the, the blonde, the blonde guy yep, from yep. Stormship, Starship Troopers. He was on, Storm and Troopers, yep. he was on one of these crime shows, and he was in an interrogation room. And he goes, he goes, what you, he goes, what do you want? Uh, you know, pharmaceutical, you know, conspiracies, flat Earth. He actually said it. I'm like, wow, the writers, you know, really, yeah, yeah we're gonna see more and more of those. Until, Very nice. Until, I won't be happy literally until Saturday Night Live does a spoof. And if, if they do a spoof with me in it, you know, where, where they're actually making fun of me, I oh may my actually, God. I know I may actually die because it's like, oh, please don't, please don't. But at the same time, it is kind of cool. That would be hysterical. That yeah. would be hysterical. I have, I can see it already, a skit with you meeting Eric DeBay somewhere. Uh, yeah. Fucking debacle. <laughs> yeah, some, some oh, flat earth awesome. meeting. Uh, the, yeah. That's funny. Hey, I wanted to say happy birthday to the gentleman that called earlier, uh, real quick. And there's a new season of Archer coming out. Yeah, I know it's coming out on the 25th. I can't wait. It's not. Yeah, not I'm just like, the new uh, season. It's probably the last season. They're not going to go like the Simpsons, where yeah. they're just, they're just going to keep doing it forever. Uh, they are. Yeah. They're gonna, I think, wind it down. And if you guys, if you guys, if you want a DVD set to buy. That you'll be proud to own by the freaking Archer series. Oh, it is God. it is such a great series. Best written show on television, in my opinion. Which is saying something, considering it's an animated yeah, it, show. It's thirty minutes long. Absolutely, and it's outstanding because any episode that comes on, you could sit through it and laugh again. Yeah, at every little bit. Yeah, yeah. The, the writing Absolutely. is just amazing. Great, the, great the, show. The, yeah, the running gags, love it. So this this segment, by the way, sponsored Absolutely. sponsored by Archer. So. <laughs> nice, nice. So, 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 uh, what? Check. Oh my god, too funny. Hey, I have a, I have a call for you. Just, okay, just because, uh, like, uh, pushing that whole same team. You know what? It, how did Patricia do it? Uh, hashtag same team. <laughs> like I've always been saying, but right. I, <laughs> I got, I got a good. I think it's a good quote. What? The saddest part of the human race is we're obsessed with this idea of us and them which is really a no-win situation, whether it's racial, cultural, religious, or political. Hmm. And that was Dave Matthews. Ah, the Dave Matthews man. That's very interesting. Interesting. I just happened to look him up because Linda loves him. Well, She's well, like, I'll leave you in a second for that guy. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She loves that guy. He's he's yeah. awesome. I, I like his music, so hmm. whatever. At least... At least you'll be out of my hair. No, <laughs> no I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm only okay. saying that because she's probably she's listening in the other room. There you go. Smart, smart. Mark. All right, Amy, awesome, Mark. I, Keep, hey, I I may t uh, I may talk to you after the show. May not. Uh, I'm going to start building the show. Plus, I got to figure okay. out what what went wrong with that intro music. <sighs> Whoa. I, yeah, I that think was just, interesting. That was I, interesting. It's just some generic royalty free, free music. I don't know where it came from. I certainly didn't submit it, so I'm probably just gonna have to <laughs> chop it. I'm That's I'm listening. Awesome. You know me. I'm listening to it's like, oh, please tell me another show didn't just replace mine. <laughs> but I, they let me. <laughs> so. That's what I thought at first. I was like, 
are they screwing up again? Cause, and then I realized I wasn't on my phone because last week on my phone, it yeah. played the repeat from the week before, but on the computer, it was fine. It was really strange. Uh, it's all right. I'm just going to grab the audio and then chop out that song, and and hopefully I won't. Uh, in fact, I can I can chop it out to where I can just start up. You know, you know, broadcasting to you. I think I can chop it all the way up to that point, so nobody on YouTube knows any different. Oh, really? Cool, yeah. Except cool. except when they get to this point now in the show, and they were going, "Wait, what happened to the right. beginning of the show?" It's like, yeah, something really horrible happened. Right. Right. All right. right, right. Uh, gotcha. I gotta pick up. I gotta pick up California. <laughs> so. Hey, all right. Know. Awesome. Keep it, keep it up. You are the man. I just, I didn't even know how you pump out these videos. Amazing. Uh, keep hey, it up. hey, and, uh, I will see you at the YMCA, uh, next time. Okay. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Back right. door. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we got to we, wait, wait, before you go. No, no, I, we're going to, we're going to admit. In fact, I think it's a, I think it's an archer joke. We're going to meet at my new, uh, a bar for pilots. It's called Tail Gunners. <laughs> That's horrible. I love I, it. I know. All I right, man. I'll talk it. to you soon. Uh, Bye. You're fantastic. All right. I can't get rid of him. Sorry about that. All right. Let's pick up California. This is going to be 916 area code. We're going to do this and maybe go to Massachusetts after that, maybe Houston after that. I'm going to try to get in North Carolina if I can. So let's do 916 area code. You're on the air with Late Night, Mark and Strange World. Hello. Ooh. I know, right? It's like, uh-huh, cinem- it's, like <laughs> it's like Cinemax, but, but on radio. <laughs> That's the best. Uh, this is your favorite blonde, uh, Michelle. <laughs> wow. You know, <laughs> anyone listening, it's like, oh, wait, he has favorites? <laughs> it's like, awesome. <laughs> it's really great. Or not least favorite, maybe. <laughs> you're, you, for anyone listening, uh, they haven't figured this out. You're the blonde that's in the picture with me. It's in the slideshow when we're down at the Raleigh conference. And I believe mm-hmm. you were just finished finished up your interview with BuzzFeed because, you know, pretty girls mm-hmm. get on television. And then you <laughs> roped you roped me into it and, and said, Oh yeah. And then he he now has turned this into a little side there career is. because you recognize him. Mm-hmm. He's the guy with the glasses and the fake mustache now at the top of the charts. No, and that's part of why I called actually. I have to burst your bubble on this a little bit. Um, what? Uh, it's actually not the same guy. Um, I ended up adding him on Facebook and because I wanted to ask him if I could get, um, you know, a copy of my interview. And of course he said no, but, um, his <laughs> name's Christian R- Rossi, you know, Rossi or something. I forget how to say his name. Um, but he, wait, he that's not, you know, if anyone wants. that's not, it's the, not the guy. How would you know it's, it's not the yeah, guy? Definitely. Because I like, I remember, I, I mean, I, I just know faces. Plus, you know, I work in orthodontics, so looking at facial things, um, everything about a face is, I know that's not him. Like, and <sighs> I, I was don't tra- know. Yeah, I was trying to look for the name in the video. So go, here's the next thing. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. But if you can find the name of the guy who's doing the BuzzFeed uh, blue thing, then yeah. um, it just, if his name's not Christian Rossio or whatever. Well, well but remember, BuzzFeed blue is a collection, though, of people. It's not. It's not just him. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like it's like like a channel like Saturday Night Live where they have different, where each each reporter can do their own segment in it. But I, and and you may be right, but I'm I'll, not. Gonna, I'll email you a picture. I'll screen. But I'm not going to give you that 100. percent I'm not going to give you the 100. percent Here's why, because after the conference, I sat down with him for another freaking hour on Skype, oh, and we right. shot a whole other segment where he was getting more and more into this and he was trying to you could you could he, you f- see the gears in his head trying to turn this into something and but he he wasn't going to do it as himself i think this is an alter ego i mean obviously the mustache is fake but i mean yeah there could be of course you know that's a very generic look you know short brunette guy you know thin build you're right yeah. it could it could be something else but man it sure it sure looks yeah, like it. To it, me. it there's a resemblance for sure, but I'm I'll send you a picture. I'll if you can, if you can prove it one way or the other. But wait a minute, didn't you say you asked him <laughs> for your interview and he said no? Mm-hmm. 
Well, if it wasn't him, yeah, wouldn't he, he say? Wouldn't he say like, "Who are you?" Right? No, he no. Well, not through like he remembered me from the conference when I when I emailed him. Well, okay, okay. Maybe if you, if you if, so, you, you if you okay, if you are talking to this guy, have you put it to him and said, "Hey, lo- why don't you just put it out there and say, hey, loved your segment on oh, Buzz Why don't you freaking Blue. ask him? I'll just freaking ask him. Are yeah, you yeah, ask Buzz him. Buzz it's Blue? like, yeah, is, okay, is, there is, we go. Is is this you? Because honest to God, he he. Well, you remember him. I mean, if if it is the guy, it sure yeah. would fit. It would fit his personality because remember he wanted to turn us into a religious cult, and he was yeah. to- totally mm-hmm. going to troll us. And the the little oh, yeah. parody that he did, I mean, it's generating. What, what's the how many? I think the thumbs down, if I'm not mistaken, it's thirteen thousand thumbs up and twenty eight thousand thumbs down, and. He, because he's getting it from both the flat earthers and the the mainstream people, the globalists. So yeah. I think he's trying to troll everybody. But yeah, ask him if you get a chance. I'm dying to know. I think it's him. Okay. You don't think it's I him. Will. If I win, um, <laughs> it's it, I. Well, I can't say on air what my demands will be. But if if you win okay. again, you'll have to email me your demands. So there you go. Okay. All, All right. right. Done. Um, and then just one other thing. Um, uh, it's not set in date yet, but I do. I want to. I plan on planning a, a flat Earth meetup in Sacramento, and I think I have the place. I talked to one of the head manager, co-owner people there. It's called the Serpentine Fox, and it's on uh, Ooh, that Sac- El Camino. And um, yeah, it's a little, yeah, a little cute little bar, but um, it's roomy. So that, or there's a place in downtown called Alley Cat. It's really big. So I didn't, um, know, I'm I didn't know you were up there. I thought you were down in LA. No, Sacramento. Ah, um, right. Lucy Lemons is down in LA, though. Lucy Lemons is down in LA. She's That's in. absolutely right. Yeah. And I think I think Matt's mm-hmm. in your area. You should look him up. Okay. No, no, don't, no, don't, 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 no, Matt. <laughs> Matt Matt Boylan, Math Powerland, don't you dare! Oh, okay. Well, there. Okay, Matt's such a generic name. I know like a hundred. Oh, Matt. oh, well, yeah, because uh, <laughs> one of those. I know so many Matts and Kevins and Ricks and. No, that's like such over exaggeration, but yeah. it's making a point. But anyways, when I come up with a date, I'm hoping for like maybe middle May. Um, I'd love to have a few of you throw it out there. That's oh, that was my dog snoring. If you heard that, but I didn't um, hear it. But that's yeah, nice I'll... that you offered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me let me know. Whatever. I mean, it's again, it's going to get really nutty starting soon. So uh, sooner better than later. But yeah, let me know. I'll I'll do whatever I can. Yeah, you know me. I'm I'm for sure. All right. Well, I will let you go, and I will talk to you later. Much love to everybody in the chat. Zulu one, Karen B, Candy, Patricia. Oh my God, everybody. Josh, Ginger. Uh, right on, Bob, Globusters, right. everybody. So y'all have a good night. If I missed right. anybody, sorry. All right. Hey. <laughs> All right. Wor- peace out, Mark. Word to Big Bird. All right. See ya. <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. So let's pick up. Let's go right to it. Let's go to Massachusetts, I believe. Four one three area code. I know you've been holding for a while. What do you got, Mark? Yeah. Hi, this is Amanda. Amanda? Can you hear me? I, I can I can hear you. I, Amanda, hear Amanda you. have we spoken before? No, no. This okay, is the first good. Time. Oh, good. I've been trying to find a way to get to... The way you said it, it was like... Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, the way you said it, it was like, yeah, this is Amanda. I was going, oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you remember, well, Amanda? <laughs> we met at this bar. It's like, oh, <laughs> <me."> <laughs> How many drinks did I have? All right, what what's going on, Amanda? What can I what can I do for you? Oh, I I just I've been um I've been looking um I guess you can say I'm be a little behind on uh trying to get to a site to try to listen to anything live, and I honestly didn't even know that I had gotten on until I was like listening to you talk, and and I'm like. Oh, he's talking about Archer. Oh, okay, that's uh, that's coming up soon. I'm like, oh, this must be something live. You really, so you you called this number and you you thought you were just hearing a recording, <laughs> and, and yes, then... yes, I did. I honestly, yes, I did. 
Well, you're, you're this. I, I suppose this could be an elaborate voicemail hoax, you know, a la Archer. But no, no, you're actually <laughs> you're actually talking to me live. And uh, what what would you like no, to talk about really, live? I've been listening. Um, just uh, just um, I really do. I love I love your work, and I know um, it's the first time I've been even like talking about this to some of my friends or even my family, and they're yeah. they think I'm a little nuts, but. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah. I've listened to a, a lot of stuff that you said, and I just want to say it really, it really comes through. It, it's very honest, and um, I just wanted to know if uh, I seen you at the conference. Like I was going through some of like the YouTube videos, yeah. and I seen that you were. Um, it was on NB, oh, maybe like from the NBC or something on like the news, and it was the conference, and they had interviewed you. Yep. Yep. That's me. Yeah, that was a, it was ABC News. That's the one where for no where no matter what happens, they uh, keep throwing that thumbnail of me up to the top of the charts, and it's like, oh please God, bump it down. I'm I I hate myself on <laughs> I, I I love myself on camera as much as vampires do. Okay. <laughs> no, you were great. It was awesome. Well, thank you. It, it was um, it was nice to see. My my favorite part was when she, um. She kept asking those questions, like you know, one plus one is two, and I'm like, really? Okay. Really? Well, yeah, and you, well, that's you know what that's from. That. I, 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 I won't say I invented obviously the one plus one equals two, but one plus one that was the my opening paragraph for Flat Earth Clues, which was it's one of the first things we tell everybody. I one haven't plus... seen all of them. I'm sorry. <gasps> what? I... <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't seen all of so them. So not only are you calling a, a show I've, I've just a randomly, lot. but you haven't even listened to the clues? I, I've listened to a lot, but they're all nothing I've listened to. Um, this is the first time I've actually listened to something live. Oh, so everything has just been, I've been catching up. <laughs> all right. All right. Do you know what? Have it's been you, about six months now. Okay. Type in Flat Earth Clues. And and just start from clue a one. A lot of people have taken your stuff and then they've put it under. Like I've looked under, I know, you know, I know, like Mark Sargent, and then it's like it comes up as them and they're talking, and it's it's like, oh, this isn't him. What the hell am I listening to? What, <laughs> wait, wait, have you been to my? You know what my main channel is though. It's just my name, Mark Sargent. Just, just well, I went on um, to podcast and looked up. Uh, was it Truth uh, Frequency Radio? And I. I mean, that's that's good that enough. I mean, that, that that's got some good stuff in it, sure. But go to just type in, uh, go into YouTube and type in Flat Earth Clues or Mark Sargent, Flat Earth Mark Sargent, and you'll you'll get it. But but I'm super happy that you that you actually tracked me down live. That's only you know slightly. I can't even believe I did that. <laughs> I can't. Or have you had a drink tonight? <laughs> No, <laughs> you're doing this so. When I heard that you, <laughs> when I heard you said from Massachusetts, I was like, hmm, "What?" <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my oh god, my <laughs> no, that can't be right." <laughs> and and by the way, and I won't give out the name. It doesn't come in. There is a caller ID, and it doesn't come in as you. It comes in as someone with the initials S and S. Oh, okay. And <laughs> why? I don't I, know why I, it should be Amanda, but. Oh well, it's all right. No worries. I mean, who knows? I but don't the, the conference was great, and I didn't know if you had looked into anything else besides, um, like anything about holistic doctors. They've been dying off left and right, and I, I've been looking I into have, a lot of other stuff besides just flat Earth. I have been looking into a little bit of it. Unfortunately, though, my schedule pretty much requires me to do flat Earth all the time. That's basically what I do now, because it's monstrous. And hey, on that note. Because it sounds like you still have some homework to do. Uh, I've, I've, I've got to pick up at least one more call yeah, before the. Yeah, I was trying to write that down real quick. Okay, so just you don't even have to just remember my name. You know my name, right? Just, just yes, type. I do, Mark Sargent. Mark, Mark Sargent. So just type that in, and then Flat Earth, and you'll get to my channel, which is literally my name. It's just Mark Sargent. In fact, it's Mark K Sargent. The K does not stand for killer; it stands for Kendall. <laughs> and some people ask, it's like, what's K stand for? I go, kill them all. It's no, like, really? you're really, you're awesome. I can, I listen to a lot of your stuff and you're, you're brilliant. Really. I don't know about brilliant. really That's, opened up my mind you. to a lot of stuff. Really. Cool. Well, check out the main page when you get a chance. We will talk about more things in the future and feel free to, you know, I'm on Tuesday nights. This is the time I'm in. I'm, I'm live at this particular point. So call me another time when you get a chance. Okay. 
Thank you so much, Mark. Have a good one. <laughs> you too. Bye bye. Okay, we're gonna pick up. Uh, this may be the last call. We'll see. Uh, Houston, Texas, two eight one area code. Did I pick you up tonight already? Um, yeah, you got me already, Mark. Oh, I'm okay. Well, I'm, 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 no, I'm putting. I'm putting you back. I'm putting you back on. I gotta try North Carolina. Hang on. All right, let's pick up North Carolina. North Carolina, did I pick up you already? Nine one zero area code. You did, and I was nervous. I forgot a point I was going to make. Okay, well, we'll end with you. I'll be, you I'll, be you I'll be quick. Quick. What do you got? Okay, I'll be quick. It's it's, it's probably something you never heard. Uh, you know, people in North Hemisphere, whatever, blue eyes. Uh, people Southern continents, brown eyes. Yeah. And I brought this up in college back in two thousand two. Uh, mm -hmm. What would be the reasoning if you look at the sky? The sky's blue. You look at the ground. The ground is brown. You look in between. It's green. When you mix the people with blue and brown eyes, you get green. Or you look at people in the Mediterranean, they have green eyes, right? Yeah. What's the deal there? <laughs> got to be something to that, right? That's what I, I have mean, to end. I, that's there's, what there's, I have to end the show so, on. So man. listen. So listen. It's, there's it's, there's three different colors of eyes. There's brown, blue, and green. Brown, there's twenty seven green. different shades of blue. That's where you get the grayish blue. There's no such thing as hazel. There's brown, blue, and green. The way you get hazel eyes is you have like uh, toxins or something happens in your body. If you ever studied iridology, you understand that. Yeah. But uh, the color of the eyes is, I think there's something to it. You know, the Native Americans, when they came out and looked out, they would name the baby after what they saw. Yeah. So are the people in the Northern Hemisphere seeing more blue than we are? Oh, and the southern continent. You're actually blowing my mind. And get a member. I, I mean, flat, I mean, really. Earth for a living, and that's. I, and I'm, I mean, I'm basically doing that too. But I'm all right, not on a big got, scale you like you. But you got ten seconds. The music's going. So what? Anything else? All right, but well, I, I appreciate your time. Appreciate okay. your time. I'll call you <laughs> another time. Okay, bye, -bye. All, right, bye. all right, and with that, the brown eyes, blue eyes, green eyes theory. I think it's a great way to end the show. Thank you for everyone that's called and everyone's going to call in the future and all the emails and hey, come back next week. I'll be here. Same flat time, same flat channel. Night, guys.